Y'all know the name. What's crack lacking, boys and girls? I am Matinio, and welcome back to part five of the Renault Sport update. And to this time, we are in the Renault Alpine A442B. Manufactured in 1978, rear wheel drive, mid mounted V6, and this actually won the Le Mans 24 hours in 1978. That was after the A443 um, developed problems. But it beat both the Porsches, so that was a good thing for them. And I like this livery. It kind of reminds me of the old Rothmans Williams livery. With the blue and the red and the gold. <laughs> and the white. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I've had a red ball on me. A little bit wacky right now. And we're on the full-blown 24-hour Le Mans circuit. Seems like this is the place I've got to take it. This is the place to be. So we're going to have a go around here. Now, back in '78, before they added the, uh, I think I don't think the, I think they added the chicanes. Like, I think it was after '78. But we're going to see what we can do around here because that did a poll lap of, uh, well, the, uh, sorry, the A443 did a 134, a 334, I think it was. I've just been on Wikipedia. Leave me alone. Right then, let's get that up. And let's have a look in the interior. Um, hmm, all right. Okay, so yeah, not much in here. Pretty much the bare essentials, as you would imagine, from most race cars of any era. And look, we got like a. It's like a convertible, but it's not. Look, see, there's a hole in the roof, which is good. And we got a periscope as well. Always handy. So we're going to take it around this track, see what, um, see what's what, and go from there, basically. But yeah, I quite like this. It's good visibility. We'll go for a couple of laps around here as it's quite a long lap. Wow, this thing is quick. Well, and it's twitchy, yep. Yeah, the back end is a bit slidey. We'll see what kind of speed we can get out of this thing. Wow, it definitely got a bloody bit of poke to it. We're going to hit 200 easily. There it goes, there's 200. What are the brakes like? Uh, that's as late as I dare leave it. Quite a bit of body roll, so... Again, there's plenty of scope for improvement. Stiffen this thing up a little bit. Also the brake bias ever so slightly. But it's bloody quick. Fifth gear still pulling like that, Jesus. Yeah, that balls that up as well. God damn it. I think I'm just getting worse at this game. I remember when I can go through a whole DLC showcase without crashing or spinning once. I must have done it four or five times in this one. But now I've got to concentrate.
it is kind of hard to get slowed down. There is quite a lot of body roll as well. So like I said, stiffening this thing up a little bit, maybe lowering it slightly. Because small inputs are kind of difficult to make as well. Oh, yep, the brakes are... Jesus Christ. Uh. Yeah, as to be expected with a car from 1978, the brakes aren't quite what I'm used to. Hopefully the next lap will be a little bit better. Oh god, the S's. I'm, I'm fearful of these S's now. Very fearful. Be very careful, very careful. See, there, that body roll, it's annoying. Well, then again, I suppose back then they needed softer suspension because the track was probably a lot bumpier than it is now. Oh, shit. God damn it. The brakes are fucking terrible. Oh, and yep, there we go again. Okay. Oh, don't know what happened there. 429, yay! Okay. Hopefully we can get a sub three minute lap in. Not like that we won't. I imagine this thing is turbocharged. Very quick in a straight line, but it fucking hates the corners. Jesus Christ. Oh, God damn it. See, the problem is, with this car, there's not a massive amount of feedback through the wheel. So by the time you are actually getting any kind of feedback telling you, oh, the back end's stepping away from you, it's already happened. You can't really react to it. So you always find yourself kind of tippy-toeing around with this thing, trying to anticipate where the, uh, where the problems are going to arise. That track invalidated thing doesn't count for me, as we know. This is just exploration. The final frontier and all that gubbins. But yeah, it you get it's a somewhat of a numb feeling. There's almost a detachment between yourself and what's actually happening. Oh god, there we go again. So there's a definite learning curve for this thing. To try and get anything, you know, even remotely like the best out of it. Incredibly quick in a straight line, but through the corners it is an absolute dog. Going to break incredibly early just to get it down so you can take the optimal line through the corner like there. And I imagine it's turbocharged because it does bog down quite a bit in the lower gears. Especially when you're trying to come out of a corner. And I don't try and just keep the throttle applied ever so slightly to keep the revs up. Because it'll probably spin the rears up horribly. I'm not going to make the same mistake around there.
So it just bobs up and down horribly on those bumps. Tell you what, the guys who drove this thing in 78, fucking hell, they were brave. They had some brass bollocks on them. It's probably set up a hell of a lot better than this one is, though. We're not going to get a lap in under four minutes. Never mind. Uh, yep, and um, we're not going to have a clean lap. See, it's really... It, with these older cars, it's very difficult because you've got to really adjust your what your normal braking zones would be. That is, so there's a definite learning curve with that there. Oh, but there we go, Renault Alpine 4A442B, not a bad car, definite room for improvement, it needs to be stiffened up, it needs a hell of a lot more downforce, but quite fun to drive, I think you can have a, you know, a fun time with this once you've kind of got over the learning curve, which there is a very steep one for this car. Uh, but yeah, there we go. That's part five of the Renault Sport updates. Um, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more, then please go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, subscribe for more daily content. Uh, the final video, uh, video number six, which will be the uh, Renault Megane, the new Renault Megane uh, road car. That's coming up uh, finally, or well, next, should I say. Uh, but in the meantime, stay cool and I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace. Aha! Power! Whoa, let's go. Oh no, this is much better than a GP3 car. Oh shit! Oh god! I'm dead! I was about to say... Like a boss going through a rouge with DRS open. But yeah, that didn't quite work out. <laughs> Whoops.